By now, we have worked out the two sets of equations defining the ideal gas law. The empirical equation, pressure times the volume of a gas, is the number of molecules N times Boltzmann constant times temperature. From the kinetic theory, PV is a third times N times mass times the mean square speed. If you're not familiar with these equations, do check out my previous physics lessons on the kinetic theory. Links are in the description below. From these two equations, do you see how we can form a new expression by equating them? NKT is equal to a third Nm times by the mean square speed. We are going to use this to derive an equation for the average kinetic energy of a gas molecule. I'll just switch the two sides of the equation. It'll make sense why I've done this later on. Get rid of the one-third by multiplying both sides by 3. I will now also multiply both sides by a half. The left-hand side should now remind you of kinetic energy, half times mass times velocity squared. This equation only accounts for the translational kinetic energy of an ideal gas molecule. It does not take into account rotational kinetic energy. Since the volume of a gas has n number of molecules, to find the total energy of the gas, we need to multiply by n. The significance of this equation is that the absolute temperature of an ideal gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy per gas molecule. If the changes in pressure or volume cause a change in temperature, then the average kinetic energy of gas molecules also changes. So we are relating the macroscopic properties of a gas which are the temperature, pressure, and volume, to the microscopic property of a gas, which is the speed or kinetic energy of the molecules. What if I don't know the number of molecules in the gas, but instead we're given the amount of gas in moles? Capital N is equal to small n, the number of moles, times the Avogadro constant. But then... The Boltzmann constant is the molar gas constant divided by the Avogadro constant. We now have a new expression for the ideal gas kinetic energy, 